everybody, I want to talk about section 1.3 on points, lines, and planes. And it's very important that we know how to label uh, these words. And so I want to talk about how to label points, lines, and planes. So we're going to start off with the first description of a point. And I want you to know that a point you always use a capital letter. This is very important that you always use a capital letter when you name a point. And so if I have a point, I want to name it. I pick any capital letter I want. You could pick the first letter of your name or the last of the first letter of your last name. I choose to use V for Vandentorn. So this is point V. I can name it by using V or I can simply say point V. I can do another example. L. This is point L. So when you name a point, you always use a capital letter. If you see a capital letter, you know it represents a point. Okay, how do you draw a line, or how do you represent a line? So, every two points determines a line. So, I'm going to draw two points. Draw a line through it. And now I have these two points. Now, one thing I want you to notice is I did not make the arrows the points. The points are separate from the arrows. So I have two points. Because I have two points, I must label them, and I must label them with capital letters. So I'm going to name this point A and this point B. How can I actually name this line? Well, I use the letters. I can name this line AB with words or with symbols. I still use the two points in the line and I put the symbol for a line above the points. If you want to switch it around, you can. It means the same thing. Which one do I prefer? I prefer this way because it goes alphabetical order. But it's not wrong to have it written any other way. Okay, lastly, I want to talk about a plane. First of all, when you go to represent a plane, I always use a parallelogram. So a parallelogram is a slanted rectangle. This is my parallelogram. I call this a plane. There's a couple ways you can represent a plane. So let me draw another plane. This is my other plane. Okay, I can name a plane. I'm going to give it these points that are on the corners of the plane. I'm going to name this plane R E. S and P. And here I'm going to put in the corner of the plane, on the inside, not the outside, one letter. One capital letter, W. When I am going to name the plane, I need to use at least three, three or more letters. that are on the plane. Or use one capital letter in the plane.
So I have two choices, use three or more ladders on the plane or use one capital ladder in the plane. So let's start with the easy one. If I only have one ladder in the plane, I can name this plane W. And I'm done. I've named the plane. However, if I have ladders outside of the plane that are representing points, I can name this in the following way. Let me extend my page. I can name this plane. I pick any three letters I want. R, P, S. I can name this plane. E, S, P. I can name this plane R, S, E. As long as I'm using three non-collinear. What do I mean by non-collinear? Three or more letters on the plane that are not on the same line. These three letters cannot be in the same line. When I name a plane, I like to start alphabetical. So my first letter in the alphabet is E. So I'm going to start with E. And I'm going to go around the perimeter of the plane. See, which comes first, S or R? I think R does. So I'm going to not go the direction of the S, but I'm going to go next to the letter R, then to the letter P, then to the letter S. Now, if I go back, I name the letter E again, which is I already have, so here's how I would name my plane. Plane ERPS. Now notice I use more than three letters, and that's okay, because I can use three or more letters on the plane. And this way helps me understand the plane better. Okay, I got some problems that you're going to see in your homework for you to do as examples. Let's take a look at this very first figure. I notice I have three lines intersecting each other. The, the word intersect means to touch or cross. I notice that this they touch right here. Two lines always intersect in a point. So because this is a point, I named it with a capital letter Y. Two lines always intersect in a point. This is a point. It's we named it capital letter Z. And two lines intersect in a point. This is point X. Now I need to name the three points that are collinear. Well, this is a new word, collinear. The word co means to share. And you can see the word line. And so I have share line, share a line. So I need to look at these lines and which ones share a line. And I'm going to use a highlighter and I want you to take a look at this line I just highlighted. If you take a look at this line that I just highlighted, this line contains one point Y, one point Z, and it contains a third point W. So I have Y, Z, and W, because it has three points, those are my lines. So I would say points Y, Z, and W. And this would be my answer for naming three points that are on the same line. The second question says name three points that are non-collinear. This word non means not sharing a line, not share a line. They're not sharing the line. They have to be not on the same line. So I'm, if I'm looking at my blue line, I have three points that are in the line, but there's one point left over, point X. It's not on that line. And so I have to name th at least three points. One of them must be X. 
So I'm going to say points x is 1, and I pick any more, any two more points, y and let's put pick z. So points x, y, and z are non-collinear points because they are not sharing a line. And the last part is name three lines in the figure. Don't forget when you want to name lines, you use two capital letters. And so if I'm going to use two capital letters, then I can, let's start with our blue line. Hey, wait a minute. Our blue line has three letters. I only use two letters to name a line. So I could name this line YZ or I could name that line YW or I could name that line ZW but I cannot name that line YZW. I cannot do this. So make sure you don't name a line with three letters. It's not done in geometry. Okay, I only named the blue line. You could pick any one you want. Which way would I name it? The first letter in the alphabet? See, W, X, Y, Z. I would name it W. Y. This is how I would name the blue line. So I'm going in alphabetical order. Okay, let's take a look at another line. I'm going to pick another color. I'm going to highlight it yellow. Let's name this yellow line. In this particular yellow line, I only have two letters. And because I only have two letters, it helps me. I'm going to again go alphabetical order. First letter in the alphabet is X, so I'm going to name it X, Y, and make sure I put the line symbol above it. Okay, the last line in this picture is the two letters. Let me highlight it for you. It's right here. Let's make this a green line. How do I name that green line? I'm going to name it with two letters. First letter in the alphabet is X, followed by the next point on the line Z. I make sure I put my line symbol above it. Okay, last question. Name the plane shown in two different ways. I do not have one letter in the inside corner of the plane, so I must use at least three letters on the outside of the plane. So, in two different ways, I choose to name the plane well, let's see. First letter in the alphabet, Q, R, S, T, U. R is the first letter, so I'm going to start with R. Then I go to S, and then I can go to T. And I can stop because I've used three letters. What if I want to use one more? Can I do that? Of course I can. R, S, you will name that plane in two different ways. Okay, folks, this ends part A of our lesson. Go ahead and write these notes down and make sure you have them and understand them. Go back and review the video if necessary. Thank you.